Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another rudiment, and today's rudiment is the flam accent. I will demonstrate it slow to fast to slow, and then we will talk about it and break it down. So here we go. So this one has alternation built into it. There's not just a right hand lead or just a left hand lead version. And so like any of the other rudiments that I've talked about, I think it's good to separate hands. So we're going to look at what each hand's doing individually, starting with both hands on the pad, then I'll take the left hand off, bring it back, then I'll take the right hand off and bring it back and we'll check that out. So here we go. Not too fast. So this is what each hand's doing separately. One, one, two, three, loud, soft, soft, soft. So one loud and three softs. Pop. So if you know that, you can just work on one hand. Pop. Now there, I'm using a triple bounce stroke with my index finger. So a molar loud stroke nice bit hand grip for more resonation and then the three fast notes instead of that I use more of an index finger grip so do the same thing with match the second which I'll demonstrate but for the left same thing if it gets fast I use my fingers and a little bit of rebound there so Sometimes I feel it's better for the left if you start with the right and then the left joins in so you play the same thing with both hands. Because sometimes it's that old idea is that let me hold your hand and walk you through this. So sometimes the left hand, if it's the weaker hand for you, can follow the dominant hand by doubling what they're doing in unison and then you can go back to now. And usually with that understanding, you can really start to play the rudiment more relaxed because you understand what each hand is doing. So triplet based rudiments with all flam rudiments, it's a really good idea to verbalize the sticking right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Of course, the first note, loud molar stroke. I'm using a bit of an arm whip throw and then rebounded threes. So. I always like to start and end with a really open-handed resonant grip, keeping as far up the chain dynamically and, and um, tempo-wise as possible. But then eventually I kind of go to my index finger, like you would for a buzz roll, which is your fastest type of rebound stroke. So one last time here, and I'll do this with a matched grip. These are the flam accents, triplet rudiments, right, left, right. So it's good to have them both ways for me. I started out match grip eight years, added this, and play primarily traditional now, except when I'm playing some heavier rock stuff, Latin stuff, of course. So anyways, hopefully that gives you some clarity, some ideas, some methods by which you can practice this, paying attention to stroke heights, dynamic, breaking things down, hands on the legs, another one of the things I always like to do, so I get the right feel, all the soft notes, the heels of your palms remain on your legs, all the loud notes you're dropping. Of course, you can employ rebound when you got sticks and pad, pad or drum. So, anyways, there you go. The uh, flam accents. One last time. Here we go. All right. So, work on that one. Try those ways of practicing, and you'll probably be able to develop much quicker than if you just try to do the whole thing together. All right, I'll see you on the next Rudiment video. Until then, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.